Hey, welcome back you guys. Uh, this is the second video for the week. We're gonna do a short review of a new piece of hardware. Well, not really new. It's just a piece of hardware that I've owned. Um, it is the uh, Microsoft Surface Pro 2. Um, I know that there's been uh, many iterations of this particular product from uh, the Surface Pro all the way up now to the Surface Pro 4, which is a very powerful machine. However, the only one that I'm interested in uh, reviewing is the one with the Wacom uh, uh, technology and that is the Surface Pro 2 and I know the Surface Pro I believe has it too but the Surface Pro 2 has um, has the i5 uh, processor uh, with 8 gigs of RAM and a 256 uh, SSD so we're gonna do a short review and we're gonna come out on the other side I might do a uh, just a little demo drawing just to kind of show you the aspects of um, uh, of this particular product and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy thanks Okay, so I'm coming at this from an Illustrator point of view. Um, whenever I was looking to purchase a Surface Pro, I was looking at all the aspects uh, versus, um, you know, the cost. Whenever I was looking online and looking at the different reviews, it was always um, just kind of a pro kind of a, a rough product overview. So we're going to do that really quick. I'm not going to get too much into the details, <clears throat> just because this isn't a open you know this isn't the box opening or anything like this so this is the Microsoft Surface Pro 2 um, if you look at it it's got a really good sturdy feel to it um, I believe this is a ten and a quarter uh, inch model so uh, whenever you get into the Surface Pro 3 you get into a, um, a larger screen um, I'm not sure if the pixels are a little bit different uh, and also the Surface Pro 4 has that same screen my wife actually has a Surface Pro 3 and I've been on it a couple times and I really like it. Um, but the reason why I got this is mainly because of this. <laughs> you all know what this is. This is the cost evaluation versus return. So the Surface Pro 3 used is gonna run you probably from 450 up to 850 up to $1,000. The Surface Pro 4, um, depending on which model you get, uh, if you get the, the lower rung model, it's going to probably be eight hundred to a thousand dollars, and then whenever you get up up into the i seven processor, you're looking at over two thousand dollars. For me, that's not really a viable option, and I'm going to tell you why. <clears throat> I don't have two thousand dollars to spend on a computer right now. Um, I know that it's a uh, um, it's a cost that you know has to be amortized into. You know, whenever you do a job and over the year and, and you're going to return that. But I have currently, I have three machines that I utilize on a daily basis. You know, I have my workstation, my main Mac workstation. Then I have my um, Cinti companion that I utilize uh, as well. And then this is kind of like a, um, a side tablet hybrid that I utilize for the family. But also I, I use it, you know, whenever I travel and I do sketches on it. So overview. It is thick, okay? For those of you who like the thin little itty bitty tablets, you know, like your iPad, um, it's not that, okay? It is a thick, it is a heavier machine because guess what? This is what is known as an actual PC. You know, your iPad is a tablet um, for lack of a, it's a tablet, it runs apps. This, however, is a full Windows 10 Pro running machine. It runs Windows 10. If you see down here, I've got full versions of you can see that um, I've got full versions of <clears throat> um, you know your Clipart Studio Pro uh, before I was running Photoshop on it I was running Illustrator on it and what makes this machine different than other machines uh, is this this right here this little stylus um, of course not not Microsoft branded it is made by Fujitsu it's a T5000 and I got this and I'll and I'll explain that as well as in a minute but this particular stylus is fantastic, <clears throat> and I believe these particular machines come with, um, with a stylus. You see how fast that launched. Um, and the Microsoft stylus is fantastic, but I read online that this particular stylus, the Fujitsu uh, Lifebook T5000, which comes with the Lifebook, is a little bit better, and I, and I, and I tend to agree with them. The build quality is a little bit better. It, it's got the same Wacom um, technology digitizer technology uh, and, and close proximity it doesn't have any batteries in it so what's great about this is it's got 1024 uh, levels of sensitivity so you're saying wow that's pretty good um, yeah it's fantastic it's the same as my Cintiq um, 
my Cintiq 21 UX that I've been using for, you know, years and years. And, you know, plain fact of the matter is it's got pressure sensitivity. Now, you're going to say, well, what about the iPad? Um, well, the iPad's fantastic. However, the iPad's 900 bucks. <laughs> 900 bucks, and it doesn't run full versions of applications. You know, you're going to say Procreate. And, and, I, and I agree, Procreate's a fantastic um, a fantastic program, but with something like this, um, you know, I can run full versions, full, full pro versions of Sketchbook Pro, full pro versions of uh, Fusion, full, you know, full pro versions of um, Photoshop, Illustrator, and I can open my files. It's got, um, it's got a USB, I believe, 2.0 port on the side, which is fantastic, so I can plug a drive into it. It also has an expandable SD card slot right here. I don't, I don't know if that's blurry or not. Expandable up to 128 gigabytes. So if you get, this particular machine has a 256 SSD. If you get a 128 uh, gigabyte micro SD card, I mean, you've just expanded your world. And that's far, it far surpasses, in my opinion, the iPad. Um, I've owned iPads before. I've owned six iPads in my life. And of course, I haven't owned the iPad Pro because again, why? It's nine hundred plus dollars, and and the stylus is you know another hundred dollars on top of that. So, <clears throat> for me, to be able to utilize this type of uh, machine is fantastic. It's got an i five processor, uh, up to two point five gigahertz, eight gigs of um, uh, I don't know what the DDR uh, RAM is. I'd have to look that up. But um, it is a fantastic machine. You know, uh, Core i5 4300 CPU 1.9, and then it's got Turbo Boost up to 2.5, 64-bit operating system, fantastic. Um, you know, again, it's got all the security features that Windows has on it. Uh, you know, con consistent updates, and pressure sensitivity, and it's sturdy, and the screen is freaking beautiful. I don't know what the um, I have to look what the uh, display. Um, identify okay uh, what the uh, resolution is but again it's crisp it's clear it's clean it's beautiful I can adjust the the, the brightness on it um, as needed the battery life right now currently is about five hours um, I've got it set to maximum they do sell this keyboard um, I got this off of Amazon Amazon for about $45 and this is a power keyboard. You see how thick it is um, with respect to other keyboards. This is a standard keyboard. This is my wife's keyboard. Very thin. And this is a power keyboard. It gives about another four and a half, five hours of battery life. So I get about 10 hours out of this machine without having to charge it. Magnetic connection, just like other Surface Pros. And um, it's just a fantastic, uh, fantastic machine. And again, why I like this also is because I can stream from it. I can stream directly to my smart TV. I can stream HD content directly um, from uh, from this machine to my Roku. Um, I'm not sure about Apple TV, but I'm sure that you know it could happen. Also, um, it's got an HDMI, a mini uh, a mini um, DVI port to um, you know to I can convert to an HDMI cable, and I have that around here somewhere. But I can basically take this and hook it up to any television or any monitor, um, you know, and, and that's just another possibility. If I wanted to use my Cintiq 21 UX off of this, I can do that as well. That's what's great about this. But the biggest thing, are you ready? The biggest thing about this particular machine, it was only 190 bucks. Now, new, of course, they're over $1,000, but that was two years ago. You know, now if you go and you play your cards right and you look around online and if you look on, um, you know, eBay, they're typically about 250 up to $500 depending on who, you know, who is selling it. Um, what's great about it is it's, you know, so inexpensive and, you know, 190, 190 bucks, you, you just can't, you just can't beat it, you know, um, I was able to get this one through clearance regularly, like 329. It was 50% off, and then uh, a percentage off of that. So I got it basically shipped to my house for $190, and then I, you know, I got the keyboard for 40 bucks. So all in, said and done, and the, and the stylus was another uh, 20 bucks. So about 250 dollars. 
I have a very solid machine. Now it's got this little kickstand right here. In later models, you can adjust the kickstand further. And this is just fine. You know, I use it for whenever I sketch and I use it for reference and uh, digital sketch pad. And it's just a really good machine uh, overall. Do I think it is a viable option for illustrators? Absolutely. My goodness, this could be a backup. This could be your travel machine. Um, it pairs with keyboards, Bluetooth. It's got so many options available to you. Uh, you know, the App Store is is just garbage. Um, I'll be honest with you. I've owned, um, you know, I've owned the Surface now for roughly a year and a half, two years, and the App Store. Microsoft is stepping up a little bit here and there, but it's garbage. I mean, you can't really compare the uh, the Microsoft App Store to uh, like Apple or even Google or Android. Now, Google and Android, you know, in my opinion, they're garbage too just because of the stuff they allow in there. But, you know, the App Store for Apple is just, it's the, it's the king, you know, you can't beat it. Um, however, in the same accord, those are specifically designed for tablets and phones, whereas this particular machine, you can install, you can play Steam on here, you can do, you know, it's not particularly a gaming machine. The video card's not that great, but on the other hand, it does facilitate games if you want to do games on the run. Make sure you carry your power cord with you if you're going to play games because that would obviously drain the battery. Being an Intel i5 processor, it um, it is quick and snappy. Um, you know, I don't have any lag at all. Um, I haven't had any lag. I've had like five applications open at one time, um, you know, and, and it's just a, a fantastic running machine. And, you know, I've got a few apps on here just for fun, um, you know, for me and my son. But overall, again, you know, it is it is a fantastic machine for 190 bucks out the door. You it's it's you just can't beat this kind of uh, this kind of machine for the money. You know, I evaluated and looked at different machines. I you know, there's a lot of Windows machines out there that have uh, sensitivity, and I know that the Surface Pro 3 has like a pixel doubling. I don't know what the algorithm is or what it's called. Um, but that being said, it uh, you know, for me just a really good um a really good option for drawing so anyway yeah it's i have to reset my whatchamacallit so anyway don't say so that's kind of an overview of the surface pro 2 and the reason why you want that is because of the Wacom uh, digitizer technology that is integrated into, this, into the machine. There's other um, all-in-ones that integrate this particular technology, but for my money and security and, and fit and build quality and reliability, um, I'm going with the Surface Pro 2. Now, one of the drawbacks of having the Surface Pro line is it does not have a serviceable battery, and if you were to drop this machine, it is toast. And if you crack the screen, Everything is glued um, on it, so make sure you don't go out and spend, you know, $1,500 to $2,000 and not buy a case for it. I do have a case for it, um, and I don't travel without that case, but most of the time it stays, uh, it stays right here at my desk, and I, and I do simple sketches, or I sit on the couch, and of course I do have my, my uh, Surface, well, not my Surface Pro, but my uh, Cintiq Companion, and I've already done kind of a short overview of that. Um, uh, of that particular machine so but this particular machine is absolutely fantastic I mean just to kind of give you you know if we wanted to do radial symmetry <clears throat> um, oh, here we go uh, you know draw some really simple and the touch what's great about this is it does have hand rejection whenever the stylus comes close so if I put my finger here um, most of the time it's not going to do it it's got to come down first and then so I'm not going to get a bunch of mistakes that are going to screw up my drawing. So this is a Sketchbook uh, Pro with the radial symmetry feature, which is absolutely phenomenal. Um, I use Sketchbook Pro a lot for just simple sketching. It is a very powerful, robust program that I highly recommend every illustrator to purchase. It is cheap. I think it's thirty dollars a year for the pro version. They're consistently updating their uh, their drivers. Um, also, they're consistently updating their um, their brush sets, so you can lock this. Um, and and you know their brushes are free. Where other places you have to actually pay for your brushes. I know in in uh, 
in Clipart Studio Pro, I believe you have to pay for some of your brushes. Now, I have a huge collection of brushes for that particular program, but this one is great because they're always listening to their listening to their user base and they're listening to their um, you know their fans and their clients and stuff like that. And this particular program, Sketchbook Pro, is consistently giving their um, their users free stuff. So I love free stuff. So anyway. Um, that's kind of an overview of the Microsoft, and look at that, I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. You can't, for that much money, I mean, it's, look at that, I can go really light, and I can go really heavy, you know, I mean, you just, it's, it's hard to imagine this particular, I've got the brush palette, and I've got my brush library, and what's great, again, look at all the brushes, I mean, it's got cool, you know, cool brushes that you can basically, I'm gonna turn symmetry off. Look at this. You know, if you're doing uh, any kind of apparel work and you're doing any kind of rivets or anything like that, um, you know, and again, no lag. You can't, you can't, <laughs> it's hard to imagine that this particular machine being this old, I mean, there is absolutely no lag at all. And the feeling on this stylus is fantastic. So I recommend if you do get the Surface Pro 2, if it does come with the stylus, excellent. Don't, don't get any other stylus, that's fine. But if you get one that does not have a stylus, look up the Fujitsu T5000 stylus. I bought mine for 20 bucks. The uh, Microsoft Surface uh, stylus ranges from $30, you know, all the way up until, you know, I've seen one for $140. This one, better, bigger, sturdier. It's got the rockers. It's basically a Wacom pin. Um, 1,024 levels of pressure sensitivity. And you can sit here and sketch all day on this machine. It is absolutely fantastic. So, that being said, thank you guys for visiting the channel. I'm not really going to do um, any uh, you know major drawing uh, right now because I've got a huge amount of work to do today. But, that being said, I am going to have another video before the end of the week is done. Um, today is, what day is today? Today is Tuesday, right? Okay, Tuesday. So, I am going to have another video for you guys before the end of the week. And hopefully, I will be doing stuff on my Cintiq Companion. Um, again, fantastic machine, and we'll do a short little review of that as well. I did a simple review when I was doing another illustration, but I think I need to get a bit, a little bit more in depth. So, uh, you know, these machines, there's, there's a ton of reviews on the Surface Pro 2, but whenever I was looking, I needed to understand why it was of value to me as an illustrator and a graphic designer. You can run vector based programs on this thing, you can run full versions of all your, um, you know, if you have video editing software, you know, I've got Autodesk Fusion 360 on here for prototyping. Um, I haven't run ZBrush on it, and I'm sure if you look on YouTube, there are other things concerning ZBrush and the Surface Pro 2 and 3. If you have the opportunity to get the 3 or 4 and, and money's not really an option, obviously you want the latest hardware. Obviously, you know, you want these things. However, for value, I mean, you can't, you can't beat this particular machine. I mean, look, there's, there's absolutely no lag here. So anyway, thank you guys once again for everything that you do for me. And uh, I look forward to uh, being an entertainment resource for you guys and an information resource. And hopefully, oops, it's talking to me. Hopefully this, uh, it, it, this will help some of you guys who are kind of on the fence whenever it comes to buying a tablet. Um, if you're going to get an iPad, if you're going to get a Surface Pro, if you're going to get a Lenovo, a Dell, any Windows machine. Um, you know, the Surface Pro 2, again, is viable because it's got that Wacom technology. You know, and, and at 1,024 pressure sensitivity for illustrators, it is just fantastic. So, thank you guys, and we will see you on the other side. Bye.